Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video. This is my first card for the Lawn Farm Fans Hop and I'm thrilled to be joining a lot of my crafty friends with this hop. A big thank you to Lawn Farm who is sponsoring the prize for the hop, which is a $25 gift certificate for the Lawn Farm shop. All you have to do is hop along with all the videos and leave a comment and say something nice about the card you see in the video. You can find every next video in the description. The winner will be randomly picked and announced on October 23. Well, let's jump right in. Spreek je Nederlands? Er is ondertiteling beschikbaar. I start with showing you which stamp sets and stamps I used. The main stamp set is the new Perfectly Wicked set where I use a bunch of images from. Don't worry if you don't have any of the other sets because you will manage to adapt the scene with stamp sets you do have. For a full list of supplies you can check the blog post in the description. I stamped most of the images with Lanfant Jet Black Ink using my Misty. This allows me to stamp multiple times if needed to get a crisp impression. I stamped the potion and the bubbles for the cauldron with Memento College Ivy and the mushroom with Memento Rosebud. These are alcohol marker safe inks so you can color in the images. Now it's time for coloring. I use my Copic markers for this and you can see the color number on the left of my paper so you know which color number I use. I don't show you all the coloring because it's quite a lot, but I made a selection of images to show you which are all done just a little differently than regular coloring. If you want to skip watching me color, you can skip to the time that pop on the screen now. You can also find the clickable time link in the description.
After I'm done coloring, I like to go over the inner lines with a black fine liner to bring back some details. This is totally optional, but for me it makes a difference. To finish up the images, I'm adding highlights with a white gel pen. I die cut the images off screen. With the outside in staged rectangle stackables from Lanfan, I use the biggest rectangle out of that set on some watercolor paper. I'm blending a simple gradient with distressed oxide in the color Seedless Preserves and Wilted Violet. I blend each color about halfway the rectangle and then I start overlapping them in the middle, going back and forth between the colors till I'm happy with the result. When I'm done, I'm splattering some drops of water to give some effect to the background. I dab the excess off with a paper towel. I clean up my glasswork surface and with a glue tape roller I stick my rectangle to it. This way it won't move when I'm working with the stencil. I'm using the brick stencil from Lanfan. I align the stencil so it's straight and symmetrical. Then I tape it down so my stencil won't move either when I ink blend. I use a blending brush and this test oxide black soot. This gives me more control in combination with the stencil. When I'm done, I gently peel off the tape so I can remove the stencil. With Memento Lux Wedding Dress, I'm stamping two parts of the sentiment on a strip of black cardstock. I'm using my Misty so I can stamp it multiple times to have a clearer impression. You can also choose to white heat emboss the sentiment on the strips. When I'm done stamping, I cut the actual strips. Moving back to my Misty, I cut a piece of wood pattern paper with the same stitched rectangle and cut a strip from it so it can act like a floor on my card. I'm placing the sentiment strips on there so I can see why I want to put my stamp with the word magical. When it's in the right position, I stamp it a few times with Lanfan Jet Black Ink to get a crisp impression. I blend this test oxide black soot on a scrap piece of watercolor paper. I distress it heavily with water and dab off the excess with a paper towel. With the window die that can be found in the Builder House Halloween add-on, I cut the paper. With the window frame die also found in that set, I cut a black window frame. I adhere the moon to the window and then I can glue on the window frame. Now it's time to assemble the scene. I glue my floor to the background. Then I glue on the sentiment strips. With a white gel pen I add some accents to the word magical to give it something extra and make it a little more readable. Next I'm assembling all the separate elements so I can glue them onto my card in one piece. So I'm adding the potion to the cauldron. I add the witch hats to the cats and glue them on their stools and I add some attributes to their paws. And the objects to the plank. I stamp a little bit on the label of the biggest potion before I glue it down. Now I can glue all the elements down. I start with the window and I line the plank with the window. I use the bricks from the background to adhere it straight. When the cauldron is glued down, I glue down the splashes and bubbles. When that's done, I use Memento Lux wedding dress again. This time I stamp on sparkles around the bubbles of the cauldron. The sparkles can be found in the perfectly wicked stamp set. When the stamping is done, I use a white Posca paint marker to add a few extra stars and dots to make it extra magical. I made a craft paper card base and I cut a stripe pattern paper with the largest die from the large stitched rectangle stackables from Lanfan. I use my ATG gun to glue it to the card base. I add thin foam tape to the back of my scene to adhere it to the card. This gives it a little depth. And with that, my card is finished. I'm so happy with the result, it's such a fun, magical scene. Thank you for watching my video and joining the Lanfan fans hop. Don't forget to leave a comment below and hop along to the next video you can find in the description for a chance to win the $25 prize for the Lanfan shop. I also hope I inspired you with my video and that you feel inspired to get crafty yourself. If so, please consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel and ringing the bell to receive a notification when a new video is up. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!